Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is actually sponsored by CKC and and I'm going to be unboxing this 3-in-1 wireless charging station or something you can call it actually a charging dock but over here it's called a 3-in-1 wireless charger. Alright, so you can actually uh, suppose you're able to charge your phone, your, you know, your watch and also your wireless earbud if it comes with wireless uh, charging uh, capability but before we do the unboxing let's head over to the amazon website and take a look at more information about this particular product so we are over here at the amazon website is the official website uh, the official page of the three in one wireless charger here you can see it's actually under the ckcn page and over here is written as wireless Charger 3-in-1 fast wireless charging station. It's up to 15 watt Foldable. Okay, so this is the first picture you see here. This is how the device will look like Does this white LED, does this LED light on the front? Let's take a look here And there's a slit here at the side. Not sure what this is for and then this is the power adapter Let's look at the second photo right so you can actually here you can actually lay your device your phone horizontally you can also put everything together oh you can also if you put everything together then you can pop the side out that's very nice or you can actually lay your phone up like in this one but it's actually vertical so that you can charge the other two devices at the back pretty neat Okay, so here are the things that it's compatible with. So it's compatible with Apple Watches from the first series right up to Series 7. I think it also should be compatible with Series 8 as well, uh, which just came out. Compatible with iPhone, alright. So it's probably including iPhone 14, right? So iPhone 13, iPhone 12, iPhone 11, you know, all the way back to S, uh, iPhone X compatible with the following airpods so it's airpod 3 this will be airpods 3 this looks like airpods pro 2 all right this looks like airpod pro this is airpods 2 uh, but it doesn't support airpods 2 without so this has to be the airpods 2 uh, if i'm not wrong um, airpods 2 do have uh, two different versions one is with uh, wireless Qi charging, the other one is without, it's just via the the wired cable, alright? It also doesn't support AirPods 1 because AirPods first generation doesn't have any wireless Qi charging. It's also compatible with the following Samsung phone, like S20, S10+, Plus, S9, S9+. Plus. Okay, that's nice. Let's look at the next photo. So you can actually fold it down and then you can go up to 75 degrees. As you can see as the picture here so if it's when it's folded it's easy to carry next all right it can actually tidy up your entire charging station because now you only have one station for three devices instead of having three separate cables as you can see here right three different ports three different chargers for three different devices and it has built-in protection for overcharging, for over voltage, for short circuit. You can also have over current protection, over heating protection. All right, so these are the smart features built into this particular station. You can use it as a nightstand next to your bed or you can even bring it to your office, right, as an office stand for your phone right next to your computer. Right, let's go further down. Here are more product details. So it's over here, it says that it's using USB Type-C. Ah, okay, it's compatible with the latest iPhone 14. It's also compatible with like Huawei P30, but it must have Qi enabled. Okay, so there's here, um, there are more information. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So over here, you can read here, it says it's 15 watt fast charging and unit and it's universal capability. But what's more important information here is actually the various voltage. 
output when you're using wireless charging for different devices such as if you're using with like Huawei P30 Pro or using with like Mate 20 Pro you'll get 15 watt of wireless charging but if you're doing with like iPhone 14 you might only get around 7.5 watt and if you're using it with like Samsung phones like S20, S21 or S9 Plus or even Note 9 the output via wireless charging is 10 watt if you're charging it with your like AirPods right your AirPods 3 your AirPods Pro it's actually 3 watts of power output for your Apple Watch is 2.5 watts so this is something to actually take note that uh, even though the wireless charging capability for this device is actually 15 watt it's up to 15 watt right for phones but do take note that it's up to 15 watt and it is actually dependent on what type of phone uh, you're actually using it for the wireless charging all right so it's noted here so product description here we've gone through that universal capability we have gone through that all right so what is inside here okay that's nice so what you get here would be as you can look at as you can see the picture here you had you you can see here the charging case all right this is the packaging so inside the packaging itself you'll get the the stand itself the cable you get a user manual you also get a power adapter okay so it actually has a power adapter that is quick charge 3.0 and uh, USB-C cable right which supports quick charge 3.0 as well so over here it says that if you want to charge your phone uh, with the casing all right it means you want to charge it together you need to make sure that the phone is no more than five millimeter thick if it's more than that the wireless qi charging will not take place okay and another thing is that in order for the wireless charging to take place for the phone it must be put up in the center of the charging surface all right it means make sure that it's right in the center uh, another thing to take note is that the back of the phone all right should not have any metal that means uh, over here right the back part of the phone should not have any metal or pop socket or credit cards all right another thing is that if you want to use it with sony phones i think if the newer sony phones would come with wireless qi charging capability uh it's slightly lower uh, so there are two coils so it's slightly lower all right so if it's the, this means to say that if you want to activate uh, the wireless qi charging you might need to put your sony phone horizontal that means it's laying flat laying down this way all right that means it's laying this way instead of this way you have to put it this way so that the charging can actually take place via wireless okay another thing is that over here the fifth one is actually most important is that if you want to charge three devices at the same time okay make sure that you're using a nine a, an adapter which has a nine volt slash two ampere output and a quick charge cable all right this is very important right because some people may just um, when they're in a rush they may just take any any power adapter and then just plug it in and plug in the cable and uh, after that they complain that you know the charging is actually very slow but uh, that's not the case that's because the power adapter you're using uh, is not having that level of power output which is 9 volt slash 2 ampere all right now that we have taken a look at the product itself the product page let's go into the actual unboxing let's look at the packaging so it's over here it says 15 watt max three in one all right it's a mobile phone headset watch charge at the same time closer you can see it's apple watch mobile phone airpods okay on here it says it has some protection i mentioned earlier i won't go through it and this is how the product looks like when it's folded and it's when it's unfolding so you can see there's a platform that will lift up we take a look closer look at that a bit later so specifications input phone output all right the size okay so these are the two that i say the phone output all right packing list is a one meter let's open it up okay 
Very simple packaging as you can see from here. So once you slide it out, everything is laid out flat, you know, you see everything. Picture, alright, it's a very good diagram of what everything is. Alright, so here you will see that there's two wireless coil here, charging coil, the location. Alright, it also indicates that this is actually the wireless charging area for the phone. And there's a non-slip mat, this is an intelligent light. Right, so here is actually how to operate. So you plug in the power adapter to the power outlet, the USB-C cable, plug it into the device, and then you can actually start charging. So over here also put up another notice as the, as the thickness of the phone case should not be more than 5mm or 0.2 inch thick. Otherwise, it won't work with the wireless charging. So this is a charging schematic for Apple user. And this is a charging schematic for probably if you want to use it for iOS and Android device. So you do take note that this one is only for Apple Watch. You can actually slide it out. So this can also support other wireless uh, earbuds which also have uh, wireless charging. Okay, we will test it out a bit later. Okay, at the back of the user manual, you will see some of the light instructions. So green light is standby or not charging blue light is actually wireless charging the phone blue and green flashing light it's probably to tell you that there's a foreign object detected or the phone is misaligned right the phone charging will stop automatically and here is a list of some a list of some just some of the devices it support it's very wide range wow attention okay some additional things on top of the one they listed in the Amazon website keep it away from fluid liquid and other water if you need to clean the charger make sure it's not connected to a power supply keep it within uh, 45 degrees All right charging environment for a smartphone should be no more than 55 degrees Celsius back to the box this is the adapter so you will see here that this is actually 3.0 okay let's remove the plastic wrapper so one thing to take note that this is more of like a us pin not really meant for uk and singapore right, but of course if you have those uh, universal adapter you just plug it in i do have one here all right we can test it out a little bit later nice dot Right, but it needs just for design. Then this is the USB A to USB C charging cable. It's about one meter long. Next is the device itself, the charging platform in a semi-white plastic wrapper. Just taking the E2. This is just here. All right, see it's flat. Or oh, really basis E3. So now it's actually in a compact form. You can raise it up. Okay, and ta-da, see, put it back down, just need to lift it up, and go back down. Just like a magnet holding it together here. Yeah. There's a magnet, see, there's a magnet holding it together, alright. Okay, so you don't need to worry about it, you know, see, good, nice, okay. So now it's actually set up, so there's some non-slip here. You can see there's a non-stick rubber here so you can so it prevents your phone from you know moving too much right secure in this place and then this part is actually for probably your wireless earbud if it has wireless charging capability all right so at the back this one is actually for the watch which i think it says that you can take it out yeah oh slide out there you go so there's a slight groove here. I'm not sure you can see it from the video. Ah, there yeah, you go. See this groove here? Yeah. So this is where you put your watch here. So this one can go in. You can slide it out. It's, like, oh, it's a bit sharp. Okay, so just be careful. This part is a bit sharp. Okay. You can slide out, slide in, slide out. Okay, just be gentle. Because it's, uh, there's only a couple centimeters stopping it okay, from sliding all the way out. Okay. Nice at the bottom. Okay, this is another groove to stop it. And then there's some rubber pad here. You 
can remove it. And then this, all this groove here is the radiator, is to let the heat disperse. Okay, so let's set it up, shall we? A few moments later. Alright, so many apologies because I'm actually seated quite a long distance, uh, which is more than one meter. Alright, so the cable provided is a little bit too short. So I'm using my own um, 3 one cable, which supports Quick Charge 3.0. Alright, so you can see here, let's plug in the cable. All right. Yep, so you can see here, it's ready. Power is flowing through, it's, but it's currently in idle form. So it's green light. Okay, so you can lift it up. Put it into the slot here and off you go. First up, I'm using the Redmi Buds 3 Pro or it's called the Xiaomi Redmi Air Dots 3 Pro. I'm gonna put it here. All right. There you go. The white light is lit up, so it's actually charging it up via the wireless Qi charging port, which is meant for wireless earbuds. Next, I'm going to use it here. This is only for Apple Watch. Next, I'm going to put it here. See if it works. This is for phone. There you go. It works. So blue light, charging. Cool. Test another coil. Let's move it up and down. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Here. Nothing else. There you go. Charging. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So both the one for the phone and the one for the earbuds, they're all working fine. It's all charging up. Okay, so this has actually been my unboxing and my initial impression of this wireless charging 3-in-1 charging station from CKCN. Do stay tuned for the full review of this device. So don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That's all the time we have. My name is Johnny. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.